Round 15 action from inside Sirius Futsal Arena at Futsal Oz in Somerstown, Melbourne. Western United take on Carlton Hart. A must-win battle, Alex, for both of these teams. Ooh, the keeper came out, met that well. Here we go now for Carlton Roger! He's on. Well, they needed a goal, and it was all down to the keeper. Ibrahim Haibi coming out. Great tackle here. Soto squared it beautifully. Raja finishes. Jarvis Chin did his best. And first goal to Carlton. And Sharvan Rajab. Lovely work by Wicket and important block there from Schuster. Break on now for Carlton. That's a bad foul. I'll turn up. Oh, oh, there's a goal. Great. There's a wonderful goal. And Western United are on the scoreboard. And One all. It looks like it's blue coat. Number 16. Beautiful run here. Skip past one challenge. Lovely step over. And then finish pass Haibi. Rajab, nice ball, oh. goal, lovely. Rajab did sensationally for that assist. And a superb finish, 2-1. And Eliano puts it away, and Rajab there, beautifully done here from the throw. Brought down nicely, three players around him, got it out, and Eliano just puts it past Jin. And just like that there, back in front, shot comes in, that's wide. And that'll be the halftime break here. It is West United 1, Carlton 2. We'll be back after the halftime break. I don't really haven't shown it. Throw comes in. And it's Sharp and Rajab. He makes it 3-1. It was a brilliant throw. So from the throw in. And on his own, he can't allow the Mad Dog. Poo, beautiful throw. Cushioned the head up. Puts it in the back of the net. He makes a three. Great work. Angelados gets around. Angelados, can he finish? That's a great goal. And Jerry Angelados gets one back. Great finish there. 3 2, 90 minutes left to go. Plenty of time left here. And it Jerry Angelatos pinched it, lovely work, got around, and from the impossible angle there, puts it past Haibi. He makes it 3 2. It's game on, ladies and gentlemen, here. Another chance. From the throw. It's another goal, and it's Sharvan Rajab. He makes it. A hat. No, sorry, Eliano there. Apologies. And Daniel Eliano. Gets the goal. They desperately wanted. And again, it's from a set-piece header. And once again, Western United. Not able to get it under control. And now they're down 4-2. Four minutes left, and they get one back. Well, what a game this is turning out to be. It's Angus Angelados, 4-3 here. Another twist to this game. This is unbelievable here. They're going blow for blow. Mr. Wolves just trying to create some space here. Chance on goal. And that'll be it. They tried to play the fifth man. They tried to get that goal they desperately wanted. Unfortunately, it hasn't gone their way. And they turn it over. And it is the mad dog, Sharban Rajab. Oh, bodies everywhere there. Play on, a minute left to go. He 
Evan Robotis absolutely filthy at the decision. And the referees are coming together for a discussion here. It's going to be VAR here. Let's have a look and see what's happened. I'm not sure what the decision is. It a, is it a penalty of some sort? They're saying we have another look at it there. So keep an eye. A foul comes in on Jerry Angelados on Shaban Rajab. Let's have a look here. Referees have come out. And he's called it. No penalty. It'll be a corner here. So they're not out of trouble yet. Carlton. That'll be it. Full time sounds. It's Carlton 5. Western United 3. Stay tuned. We'll have a player interview right after this. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Player interview with Daniel. Daniel, congratulations. Thank Big you. win there for you guys. Uh, you've won the series. You avoid the automatic relegation. Uh, how does it feel? Uh, it's, it's a great relief for us. Um, you know, we came into the game knowing that they were going to put up a good fight. Um, you know, we won last week. It was a great win. Um, but we knew that we had a big performance to back that up. Um, so it's good to get on the score sheet as well. Um, but, you know, credit to the boys. They, they fought out exactly like last week. Same game plan, uh, man for man, just going in hard. And, yeah, I think it was good, to, good that we got the job done in the end. Uh, it, from you guys, your set pieces was really the difference in the end. You got some headers away from the, your set pieces. Yep. Do you guys practice that a lot, uh, training? Yeah, uh, I mean, you look at Sharves and how tall he is. I mean, <laughs> you, he's always shouting for the ball, so you got to give him one of those. Um, but yeah, the, I guess the height difference just was a big, big difference. And um, yeah, I got onto one, and, and Sharps got onto one, and. Yeah, we practice those, but in the heat of the moment, I guess it's just trying to get it to the back post as well. You've got a big uh, couple of weeks coming up. You've got Fitzroy and then Hume coming up. Uh, good chance for you guys uh, to get a pinch of points from either of those sides. Yep. Uh, what's the game plan going in for now and the rest of the season? Oh, I think it's just the same thing. You know, just man for man, going in hard, um, keeping that intensity up for the, the whole game. I think um, in the previous weeks we've... We've dropped our intensity, you know, in, in patches, and that's what's cost us goals quickly. Um, so, yeah, it's just important to keep that intensity up and for the whole game. Um, but, yeah, again, if we can play the way we did tonight and last week against those those teams, I think we'll, we'll give it to them. Congratulations. Thanks, I mean, Alex. good luck for the rest of the season. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Altona Knights versus Camberfield coming up right after this.